Hello guys and welcome to the Learn WD channel. Today we're gonna see another JavaScript tutorial and it is about closures, the nightmare, or what I like to call is the local variable paradox. Is the local variable alive or dead? So this is what I call the local variable paradox. Before we go and say what is a closure, we have to know a few things. One of them is the JavaScript scope. Let's say I open the window in my web browser and I created a variable g equals global. This variable is called the global variable and this variable it is accessed by any script or any function in the window. Now let's say I created a new function called fang and it has a variable a equals local. The variable a here is a local variable and the function here fang has access to g and a. So the function fang has access to the global variable and the local variable. But let's say we have another function, function another fang and we set the variable b equals local. Now the function here, another function has a local variable and it's b, it's local variable. The function here has access to the g, the global variable and b, it's local variable. So both function and another function can change the value of g, uh, the global variable. Now the function fang has no access to the b variable and also another fang has no access to a variable. Another thing I want to talk about is the life of variables. For the global variables, when the window is opened, the global is created. And when the window is closed, the global variable is deleted. So it is created when the window is opened and deleted when the window is closed. But for the local variable, it has a short life. It is created when we call the function and it is deleted when the function finished. Which means the code inside the function is finished executing. Now let's go and talk about the JavaScript nested functions. So a nested function in JavaScript means that we can create a function inside another function. Say I have a function called parent function and inside it I created another function called inner fang. This inner fang here is a nested function. It is inside the parent fang. Now if I created variable a equals 1, variable equals 1, it is a local variable for the parent fang. And then I created a variable b equals 2 inside the, the function inner fang. And then I add a new line and they say return a plus b. Remember a is in the outer scope of inner fang. The line return a plus b when we call the inner fang it will show or it will return 3 which means a plus b which means the inner fang has access to the a variable. So in general, a function has always access to the outer scope. Inner function has access to the variables that are in the outer scope, that are local variables for the parent fang, and also it has uh, access to the global scope. But now, how can we uh, call the inner fang? Because it's inside the parent fang. So we're gonna just add a new line and we'll say return inner fang. I said inner fang without parentheses because there is a difference. Inner fang with parentheses means we call the function 
so the code inside will execute which means if we use the parentheses when we return interfunk with parentheses this code will be executed so we'll get a value but if we say interfunk we will get the definition of the function not the value the code would not get executed to see what I'm talking about let's see an example so let's create our script tag and I'm gonna declare my function I'm gonna call it fang and I'll use just return a number 4 for example now let's go and access our console console.log and I will see this time just fang without parentheses so I get the definition of fang if you can see here in my console I don't get the value I get the definition now I'm gonna add parentheses I'm gonna hit save now I get 4 so using the parentheses means that's how we call a function now let's go and talk about the local variable life so when we call the parent fang function the a variable is created so I'm gonna say a is alive then the function inner fang is created is declared the code is not executed and then after the return the parent fang is now finished remember when a function is finished the local variables are deleted so here the a variable is deleted the a is dead now let's go and see what's gonna happen when we run the parent fang function let's go and create our parent function and our inner function so uh, i'm gonna say our variable a equals one then i'm gonna create our function inner fang it has a variable b equals 2 then we return a plus b then we return inner fang without parentheses so if i go and say console.log and then i set the parent fang to a variable x so by x i can call the inner fang so here if i call x I get the inner fang definition if I want to call the inner fang here I will add parentheses now I should have got an undefined but I get three instead which means my inner function here has access to a variable but the i variable here is deleted so here's the paradox how this happened Now let's go and see what happened. As you have seen guys, when we save our x equal parent fang, we set inner fang to x. And then when we call the x function, it returns 3, which means that the inner fang here has access to the a even when even if the a variable is deleted, it's now a there so what happened how is that possible how did the inner fang has access to the a even if it's deleted the answer is we have created a closure what does that mean it means that we stored the function inner fang plus its environment so creating a closure in general is storing a function with its environment the inner fang here we call it the function closure its environment it is the outer scope its outer scope here is our local variable a and remember it is dead it is deleted it's not there so when we store the environment we store the copy of the local variable and now it becomes a private variable 
and now the a is alive we call it a private variable because the function closure here it's the only function that has access to the private variable so why do we need a closure we need a closure because we need one and only one function that can have access to a variable and can change it at the same time so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like my video if you have a question don't forget to comment your question below